name is David Facal. I'm a PhD in psychology and I teach uh, at the University of Santiago de Compostela in the Department of Developmental Psychology. Uh, our research group, we study the age-related changes in language processes. In, in concrete, we study lexical access changes, changes in lexical access. Uh, in, in, this, uh, in these processes, in these language processes, we have found uh, two different changes. Uh, a certain decline in lexical uh, access, in, uh, in, how, in finding the words in concrete moments, and a certain increase in a level of vocabulary, in the how many words we know. Uh, regarding the uh, uh, saying a word in a concrete moment, we call it the tip of the tongue phenomena. It's an, uh, it's an universal phenomena. All, all we have experienced this uh, feeling of knowing a word, but uh, the not, not being able to, to recall it. Um, uh, this is something that happened because of the, in our brain, we have many different information about a word, semantical knowledge, but only one word only one form. So the transmission be between the uh, semantic information to the lexical uh, form of the word uh, is difficult and sometimes because of we are tired or be because the word is infrequent or because we are getting older, uh, it's difficult to activate this concrete form. This is something normal. We have more uh, difficulties in lexical access uh, when we became older. Uh, in the other hand, uh, the level of vocabulary do not, does not change with aging and sometimes even increase with aging. This is because uh, we have more experiences, more life experiences and we, we know more words. Mm. Uh, the level of vocabulary is important not only uh, in language, uh, in st studies about language, but, so, but also it's important in psychology because it's an indicator of cognitive reserve. The cognitive reserve is the capacity of the brain to cope with brain damage, with brain damages. Uh, brain damage because of aging, because of vascular disease, because of Alzheimer's disease, whatever. Uh, uh, Lifestyles, uh, life experience give us uh, uh, abilities to cope with this brain damage is the relation between brain damage and behavior and um, activities of daily life is not linear it's mediated by this cognitive reserve so uh, uh, lifestyles the more you uh, read the more language you talk the uh, more um, um, lifelong learning programs you you study the more uh, cultural activities you experience, the higher level of uh, vocabulary you will have, and uh, indirectly, the more cognitive reserve uh, you will have. Thank you very much.